Hi. This time I'm going to show you how to make an action that will make it easy for you to make faux wood grain in any color you want, anytime you want to make it. First we're going to create a new image. Um, go to File, New. 512 by 512 pixels is good, so I'm going to click OK. And there's our image. And now we get to make the action. First I'm going to start by putting it into an, a new action set. So I'm going to click the little folder here in the action panel and I'm going to name the set Textures. And now for the action itself, I'm going to click the New Action icon at the bottom of the action panel, and I'm going to name the action Wood Grain. Now we're ready to record, so I'm going to click the Record button. The little red dot here shows that it is recording, and it will just record every single thing we do in Photoshop until we hit the little square here, and that will stop the recording. So the first thing we're going to do, because we might have something on this layer when we run the action, we would lose it if we don't um, make a new layer first, is to make a new layer. And I'm going to double click on the name of that layer, and I'm going to call this layer Wood Grain. And then I'm just going to fill it with a foreground color by holding down the Option key, that's Alt on the PC, and tapping Delete or Backspace. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Render, Fibers, and that opens this dialog box. This is where we're going to start actually making the fibers for the wood grain. The variance and the strength are things you're just going to want to play with. I like to have the variance at about 20, and I'm going to dial the strength down to um, around 6 or 8 to make our beginning wood grain. The randomize button at the bottom of this dialog gives you a different random seed so that your fibers pattern is different every time. Without that, it would always look the same. So it doesn't matter which of those you use either right now. So just click OK, and there you have your fibers. That begins the process. Now I'm going to go to Filter and go to the Liquify filter, which opens up this very large dialog, and this is where the fun begins. I'm going to get the Forward Warp tool, and you just kind of move it around in here to start making your wood grain pattern. This is what Forward Warp looks like. You can also use the Twirl filter here to put knot holes into your wood grain, or you can just run it up and down to get really interesting kind of effects. If you get something you don't like, you can choose the Reconstruct tool and make it go away. If you have the Stylus Pressure button checked, then if you're using a tablet like I am, you can change the um, brush pressure just by how hard you push with your stylus. Also, I suggest that you don't show the backdrop, because if you do, you'll be able to see what you started with through your image, and for this particular purpose, it's much easier if you can't. So you can pinch things together with a pinch tool, or you can spread them out with a bloat tool, and um, just basically play with it a little bit. Make sure that you don't have any edges that are showing big openings like that. If you do, you can heal them with the pinch tool, or with the reconstruct tool, or you can just drag them out of the image entirely with the um, Forward Warp tool. And when you like what you've got, and you don't have any um, sides that are showing, you just click the OK button, and there are your swirls. Now we want to make it look a little more like wood grain, and to do that I'm going to add some vertical noise. So we'll add a new layer, call this one Vertical Noise. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to fill this layer with 50% gray. That's because of the blend mode that we're going to use in a little bit. So there it is, gray. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. I'm going to add about 50% noise, um, Gaussian distribution, monochromatic color. Click OK. And there's noise, but it doesn't look very vertical. So we'll go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and add a blur at 90 degrees, and I'm going to increase this to 20-something pixels, and that way it'll look much more like um, actual wood grain. Click OK, and you'll notice the top and bottom are not quite the same color of noise as the stuff in the middle. To fix that, I'm going to hold down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and tap T to enter Transform Mode, and then I'm going to hold down the Option key, that's Alt 
on the PC to transform from the center of the selection. So I drag down here, it also moves up. I just drag those edges off the image, double click in the image to accept the transformation, and there we go. Change the blend mode to soft light, and that puts the grain on the image. And that's the end of our recording, so we can just click the stop button. See, this is what it looks like without the noise and with it. As you can see, that really does add quite a bit to making it look like wood there. Okay, now if you recall, back up here when we were running the fibers filter, I told you that we needed to change the random seeds so the wood grain wouldn't all look the same, and in order to do that, we have to be able to see the dialog. So we're going to click here in the dialog box well, and now when we get to the fiber step, the dialog box will pop up, and we can change the random seed, we can change the variance and the strength, we can do whatever we want to up there. All right, let's see how it works. We'll change the colors. We'll just desaturate them, and that way we'll have uh, sort of weathered wood. And click in the action name up here, so we start it from the beginning. And click the Run button. And it just runs down the steps. Here we are in fibers. We can randomize it and get a different seed to start with. Click OK and now we are in the liquify tool. I'm going to go ahead and play with this, but I'm going to skip through the recording because you've already seen this, you don't need to see this again. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and click the OK. And the action finishes, and there it is. We have a wood grain layer and a vertical noise layer. The noise is added to the wood grain, and it's all set and all good. And that's all it takes. The beauty of having this in an action is that any time you want wood grain, all you have to do is run the action. Even if you don't remember the steps, it will, and you'll find yourself in the right place doing the right things. And there you go. Next time we'll see how to make wood with more than two colors in it, which will enhance the realism. Until then, this has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.